All right, before I get into the uh, record uh, pickups for today, I just wanted to um, uh, wish everybody a, a happy uh, post-World uh, Series uh, celebration. Uh, congratulations to the Los Angeles Dodgers, and welcome to anybody who is new to this channel. I collect records, I collect sports cards of all kinds, non-sports cards, coins, you name it. I, if I don't have it, um, then I don't collect it, I guess. Uh, so I wanted to do something a little different for the records this time. I wanted to do uh, a purchase of the, 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 the cheapest kind, uh, like the Goodwill type $3 uh, variety record. Uh, but, you know, of course those are not worth $3. That's why they're there. Uh, but I did find a thrift store locally that's 3 for a dollar. They've been sitting there for I don't know how many years and they just couldn't get rid of them at any price. Even a three for a dollar, but I just wanted to show you what kind of things that any collector is going to find at a at a thrift store. You're not going to find any rock and roll, and if you do, there's got to be something super wrong with it or a, a bad album. So let's just get into here without any further ado, and we'll get into no particular order. I'll try to show them as best as I can. Have the camera zoomed out as far as I can. So this here's Capital Full Dimensional Stereo. Route 66 theme and other great themes, Nelson Riddle and his orchestra. And I grabbed this because of the really cool old-fashioned Route 66 sign. Some collectors would just love that just for that part alone. So that has some kind of maybe small collector's value here. Um, this one here is the back of the record. Now I have not looked at a lot of these, not looked at the condition, but... I'm sure you can imagine that most of these are what they call hockey pucks. You'll probably see my reflection in the background. I'll try to get here, but you can see some dirt there, fingerprints, smudges. Same on the back here. There's a nice little scratch right there. Unfortunately, you'll get my reflection. Well, anyway, and then there's a few more scratches right here. So you get the idea. I don't need to handle these perfectly. There's some dust there. And that is that all I have to say about that record. So we'll go on to record number two. I purchased $3 worth, so there should be nine records here. LPs, I should say. Um, here is Disco Trek. So I picked out just randomly stuff that I thought that would be uh, good to show off in this video. Here's Disco Trek. And this one here has looked me up. Time, got to get you back. This world, Mama never told me. Can't understand it, and you call me back and getting uptown. Promotional DJ copy. Woo. And let's just see what this DJ, and it's also, yeah, you can see the cutout right there. So, um, at one point, somebody had wanted $5 for this. Now, is it worth $5? I don't know. Um, other little dust on there, and a little cleaning. It's actually in pretty good shape. Um, that's actually not too terrible for a three for a dollar record there if you like disco trek and there is some crazy artwork there all the different record albums Bad company all that good stuff tubular bells Mike Oldfield Some of the better stuff Okay, the next one we have is Midnight Mary Joey Powers and again, it looked like somebody had put $5 on this one. I'm not really sure if this is worth it on Amy Records. Maybe in really clean condition. Um, let's see if I can get that a little better here. We're going to have a problem here. There we go. And there is the back of it. There you can see some stuff on it right there. Some sort of mildew or whatever. And a popular thing to do is, is record your name on there. You can see that as well. Um, let's look at the record inside here in a paper sleeve here and we've got a scratch right there of course my light there and a few scratches on here so it'll probably play but it'll very be poppy and cracky and crackly and there is that one let me know if that's a hard to find record but you can see there's another rip there on the bottom there not really that great um, so let's go on to the next one. We've got everybody's favorite uh, twin piano duo, Tim and Roger. Uh, George Fox, College Presents. So that's an Oregon record. If you went to George Fox University, let me know. And Oregon, my Oregon, good stuff. Yankee Doodle, In the Garden, No Greater Love, He's Everything to Me. So there's that one. Uh, what does it say? Recorded at Whitney Studios of Glendale, California. Still with the original plastic. And there is Angeles Records. 
if that's the right one right there. No, it is not. This is Tim, oh yes, Tim and, Re I didn't know, Tim Bletcher and Roger House Piano Duet. So that is the right one. You always have to double check, even at this price. This is just to see what you get for the lowest price that you can possibly get. Again, maybe this store marked them all $5. I have no idea. Uh, here is David Sanborn, Change of Heart. So that's a step in the right direction. And there's the back of it. I won't go through all of it. Chicago Sun, Imogene, High Roller, Tin Tin, Breaking Point, Change of Heart, Summer, and The Dream. And this came out in 1980 something. I don't know exactly when, but can't see it right there. This one I think was really pretty clean. Oh, there's some dust on it, so. That is a uh, probably a keeper there if I like the music there. So that is one that I would probably be happy paying a dollar for if I like David Sanborn. Maybe a couple bucks. And then we have Danny Bell live in Sweden with Coral Lerna. Don't know anything about that. Interesting cover there. Um, again, somebody marked five bucks. There's Danny Bell right there. This looks like it came out in the early 80s perhaps. Late 70s, early 80s. I'm not really sure when that came out. You know, see what kind of condition that is in the inner sleeve is split, of course. So this has got a big tear on the end here. You won't be able to see that from here. And it looks like, there you go. Totally warped. That has melted all the heck. There is no way you can get that to play. So that is one worthless record. And you just pull it out like from there. Usually you go to the store, pull it out to about there, and then you forget, oh yeah, that's right. And that's the same type of thing that I've seen in a lot of thrift stores that are charging a lot more than three for a dollar. So that is just a big, big uh, go in the garbage pile. Unless you want to make a clock or something out of it on Sparrow. And we have everybody's favorite, Dionne Warwick. Uh, she's also in the bargain basement. A lot of times, good singer, but not always my music, favorite music. Unless you like Solid Gold or whatever she was the host of, I don't remember, on Scepter Records. And there is the back of this one. I think this one was in pretty good condition. I'm not really sure. Promises, promises. Uh, more than likely in pretty good, sh in good shape. Yeah, in very good condition, so I don't need to mess with that too much there. Dion Warwick. And we need to go to the last two here. Uh, we have Percy Faith's Greatest Hits in this very, very, very old plastic sleeve here. Um, did not look at this one too much. Uh, the theme from A Summer Play, Song from Moulin Rouge, Swedish Rhapsody, and many more. Jamaican Rumba. And this one here actually is in not too bad a shape for what it is. Somebody probably played that on one of those hi-fi stereos that uh, take up half of the room. The record player that has a big cabinet, that sort of thing and then they forgot about it years later and that's where it sat and the last but not least we have here something good is going to happen to you by richard and patty roberts arranged and conducted by ralph carmichael still with the original shrink wrap and it's from the world record club bonus coupon buy three albums get one free i don't know if you'll be able to see that there there's that one there's the back of it light records waco texas so you know it's christian and it says that right there christian Supply Center, five ninety eight, and that was in the three for a dollar. How can you beat that one there? And look at the condition of this one here. And it looks like somebody bought it, played it one time for somebody, and there we go. There is that one. So that is what you're going to find at almost every single thrift store. Let me know if I got anything good out of all this stuff. I think the David Sanborn might be the hit of the deal. Um, they had plenty of Enoch Light, all kinds of, I don't remember what else, uh, Ray Conniff, that stuff. So if you're into that kind of stuff, head down, down to uh, Salem, Oregon, uh, well, somewhere near Salem, Oregon, and uh, load up on records, because that's what they got. So that is all I have for you. Ten minutes. Hope you enjoyed that. Yay, Dodgers, and thank you for watching.